Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention seniors, the deadline to submit your senior quote has been extended to Sunday, December 5th. You can submit your quote to the Google form in the email from Ms. Henderson. Let's go take a look at what our women's volleyball team has to say about their amazing season. <laughs> Do you like? No. <laughs> Okay. Hi, I'm Gia. I'm a middle blocker and I'm the captain of the girls varsity volleyball team. Hi, I'm Jalen. I'm the libero and I'm also captain. My name is Naya and I'm a junior and I'm an outside hitter. <laughs> My name is Stella. I'm a sophomore and I'm an outside hitter. My favorite memory of the season was definitely senior night. My favorite memory was beating St. Francis for our league title and also our senior night. My favorite memory was probably beating St. Francis. Um, my favorite memory was when we were able to make it to section finals. I think the win that meant the most to me was when we beat St. Francis. I would say beating St. Francis for league title. They've yeah. always been our rival school, so being able to pull out that win was insane. Um, I would say the most important win for us was definitely like winning Delta League and then also beating St. Francis three times. To actually not only beat them once, but beat them three times is probably my favorite thing. Because it was both like two things that we had done to make school history. What's the best piece of advice you've gained from your coaches? Um, the best piece of advice that I've gained from my coaches is to go out for every single ball because you never know when it's going to be your last. Um, I would say just to have fun while we play, um, no matter who's on the other side of the net, just enjoy playing with your teammates because you never know when it'll be your last time playing with them. When they always tell us to always be 1% better, is to always have championship reps and to always like treat every rep as if you're in a championship match. What was your favorite part about playing for the Wolfpack? Um, my teammates. You also get to build relationships with people and meet new people and it's really fun because they become your really close friends. I'd say the friendship that I made it's just like a family, so we always have each other's back, so that was like my favorite part. Wow, I'm impressed. Keep up the great teamwork, Wolfpack. Do you have a talent that you've been waiting to showcase? Thespian Society is holding a holiday cabaret to display some talent we have on campus. Be sure to pick up an application in room HE5 or scan the QR code shown. The application is due this Friday, December 3rd. There are limited spots, so turn in the application as soon as possible. Vietnamese Student Association will be holding their first meeting on Thursday, December 2nd in Library 1. Be sure to bring your Chromebook to participate in games and have a chance to win prizes. Contact Ms. Reyes if you have any questions. Do you want an opportunity to earn a gift card? All you have to do is have no tardies for a whole week. In addition, six gift cards will be given out to students from the winning class with the least number of total tardies for Term 2. Think of it like a competition where you are competing with your class against the others. Currently, the seniors are winning, followed by the juniors in second, sophomores in third, and freshmen in last. Let's get our attendance up, Wolfpack. Now let's pass it on over to Noah and Ashley for our In the News update. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Noah Seed, and we're here with your In the News update. The new Omicron variant has tested positive in many parts of South Africa. We are unaware of this tr the transmissibility and the severity of this strain compared to other variants. We do know that, the, there, that there have been an increase in, in the hospitalizations within South Africa and the World Health Organization is encouraging more transparency when it comes to reporting cases and increased study of Omicron. The number of cases of the new variant has led to the United States to create travel restrictions on travelers coming from countries in South Africa. These countries include Botswana, Botswana, Leso, Malawi, Nambia, and South Africa. These restrictions have been in place since November 29th and do not apply to U.S. citizens, lawful residents, and a few other types of travelers. 
Each one of these countries is considered a level four, according to travel advisories, le leading to flight cancellations in several countries. And the Supreme Court is hearing arguments today on the cases Dobb, the case Dog vs. Jackson Women's Health Organization, a Mississippi law that banned abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The, this law was passed in 2018 and the courts have expressed that the states can have restrictions on abortion unless it has an undue burden on the women who choose abortion. A school shooting at Oxford High School, Michigan has killed four students and injured more more and are now in critical condition. A 15-year-old Oxford student is now behind bars after starting the shooting. This is believed to be the worst incident to occur on a school campus in the United States this year. There is a push from thousands of people to rename the school stadium in memory of one of the victims who was a football player and recently won an award for his skills. Authorities are still trying to figure out a possible motive and if anyone else was involved. Well, that's all we have for you today in the news update. I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Noah Seed. Back to the anchors. Guys, well, that's all we have for you today. Wolf Pack, remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Wake up. Oh, it's, it's the, the first, first of the month. month.